Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Obo Emmanuel the Cod Winner and if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're here for the first time, it is nice to have you. As usual, we're talking about writing in SLT. So today we're talking about something really important in scientific writing. We're talking about citation and referencing. Now, citation and referencing are very important parts of scientific writing. And one of the rules of scientific writing is that your text or whatever you put into your content must be evidence-based. This means that whatever you are, you are writing must have an authority, must be cited. So, in this video, we're going to talk about tips on citation and referencing or bibliography so let's get down to it and before we go please do subscribe to this channel and please put a thumbs up to the video so youtube can recommend the video to other people who might be interested in learning about writing in slt subscribing is free sharing is free liking is free so please do like the video let's go So before we get down to what site uh, what citation is and all about is all about, you're choosing a good topic. That's all right. You start a writing process. That's fine. But an very important part is what is citation. So it's very important that you do citation. Now, citing citation citing a source means that you are telling your reader or telling us that within the body of your text now you see that piece is bolded within the body of the text citation is done within the body of the text that it took words ideas images figures from another place now if you can see here i cited this website as my source of this definition it's very important that you cite now why referencing is a list of all the citation get it citation is done within the text referencing is done after the text towards the end of the text as the list of all your citations that is reference that is different between citation and referencing citation is done inside the text where referencing is done at the end of the text listing the names and everything in the text as we go on in the video you'll be able to see how it is done now what why do we do citation it is very very important but why do we do it now to show that you have done proper research especially when you're writing your project or writing a seminar you have to show to your reader to your lecturer that or to your external examiner you've done proper research and citation is one of the ways to show that you've done proper research if you've gathered a lot of citation from your topic it means you've gone deep and deep and deep into searching and I've done a video on how to search online for materials to do your project or seminar so it is important to you show that you have done proper research by listing all the sources used for your information now to also give credit to other researchers and acknowledge the ideas this is the reason why we cite and another reason why we cite is to what avoid plagiarism plagiarism is a serious issue plagiarism is taking somebody's exact words or idea and saying it saying that they're your own and plagiarism can be as accidental because sometimes we know that the words you're writing may be exactly like somebody else's words that's why we have plagiarism checkers so you have to check your plagiarism and again i have cited a source it's very important to cite your sources now there are different citation formats different citation formats the most popular one is the upper format especially in nigeria correct me if i'm wrong but in nigeria we use upper format that is the american psychological association format there's an mla the modern language association there's harvard there's chicago there are different citation format but for the purpose of this video we'll focus on upper formats that is the american psychological association format 
in the upper format for in-text citation. In-text. Remember I said citation is done in text, not at the end. Referencing is done at the end. Referencing is the list of everything. So for in-text citation, we have difference for one author, for two authors, and for three authors. Now for one author, it has the name and the year. For example, the causative agents of leptosporosis is bacteria belonging to Lepto Leptosporia SPP. Obu, 2020. You see, the citation is bold. Is, is is bold there, and we have just one name and 2020. For two authors, we have the first name of the author, the first author, and the second author, and the year of the publication. Now, it's important to note that the name is usually the first name, or no, the last name. I mean, that is the surname of the author most times. Usually, the surname of the author most times that is used in citation. So, Obu and Lane 2014, as you can see in this example, one organism, once the organism enters into the body, it multiplies in the bloodstream, leading to homogeneous dissemination throughout the body. Obu and Lane 2014. This is when you cite two authors writing one particular journal, not two different books, not two different. Um, items in reference you now show us what is this about now another one is for for three and three authors and above for three authors and above we have the first author's name only then et al then the year of publication as you can see my example that can et al full stop comma 2018 now that full stop comma is very important some can put some put just full stop some allowed full stop comma now note that etal must be in italics etal must be in italics italics mean that it should be slant if you if you check if you see the word the, the words here between can and etal you can say etal is a, is a bit slant that means this arrow should appear in your text now look at this i've joined this the whole example together into one showing one citation two citations two authors one author two authors and three authors and more for citation now this is how you do citation let's get down to referencing now in referencing referencing and bibliography are quite the same some use bibliography some use references for your references references should contain the author's name now remember i'm talking about upper formats so there are different formats i'm basically talking about upper format the author's name the publication dates after the author's name now these are in order the author's name the publication dates which is usually in brackets the article title or the title of the textbook or the title of the journal or the title of the um content you're getting from should come next then the source of the title is it a journal? Is it a textbook? Is it a website? That's the source of the journal, and it's usually in italics. Remember, I said usually it's in italics. That means it's usually slanted. Then the volume and issue. Some the volume can be written as VOL to issue four or two bracket four, depending on what your the school format is. Both of them are set in upper format. Then followed by the page numbers. Followed by the page numbers. For example, we have this for one author, Obu EJ. Now, another point to notice when you're writing your references, you don't put the full name of the author. You pick the last name, and the other name should be in the initials. As you can see, Obu EJ. E can stand for Emmanuel, J can stand for John. You can see that it's not written in full year. The same thing goes for two authors. Obu EJ and Lane AB 2016. We can see that the author's name came first, followed by the year, followed by the title of the research, which is the guidelines for the diagnosis and management of human leptosporosis. Now, the source here is medicine updates. Then we now have the page number. Now, if you see the second example for the two authors, we have Obu, EJ, and Lane AB, 2016. 
leptospirosis a clinical review of evidence-based diagnosis treatment and prevention that's the topic that's ASCO title world journal of clinical infectious disease that's the journal that's the source of the of the article then you can see here you see six bracket four six one to six this is the, the volume the issue in brackets then the page numbers then we have for three authors the same thing name name of the all the name of the authors three or more now for some for some schools they were asked to write five names and put et al for if, if the names are more than five you can put et al for some you are you asked to write all of them the name of the topic then the journal the volume and the page number so i hope that you've been able to understand what citation i'm referencing is in the next video to come i'll be explaining how to get these citations most times when we see a journal we won't be able to pick our citation i'll be explaining to us how to get the citation i hope you enjoy this content and you've gotten a knowledge out of it please if you do get a knowledge please do like it is free of charge to like it's free of charge to share and it's free of charge to subscribe please do this for your boy and support the channel Thank you very much.